What's up, guys? This is Kyle from Wax Museum, and I am back with another um, mystery binder buy, although I do kind of know some of what's in this binder. Uh, this one was titled Sports Trading Card Lot Collection, and um, from what I could see in the pictures, it is mainly Sports Illustrated for kids' cards, which, though, for me, uh, looking at the quantity that's in here, I think it's going to be a good buy. This one cost me $20.76 since shipped so let's go ahead and see what's in here i opened the the bigger box but i haven't actually gone through the binder yet and looks like we've got a whole bunch of cards here even jammed in this front pocket so remember this was twenty dollars and 76 cents shipped so these are some sort of uh looks like local grocery store packers and vikings cards Um, then we've got these. Unfortunately, these this Jordan looks kind of dinged up. Um, yeah, all of them look kind of dinged up. Uh, doesn't mean they're not collectible, but um, you know, I, I, I try to be very cautious when I'm moving stuff that's dinged up because I don't want to misrepresent anything. Um, we've got uh, this is not what I expected in here. American Bandstand Lou Rawls. Frankie Valley. I don't think I've ever seen this set before, so let's skip these Packers cards and the rest of these dinged up Jordans. And let's take a look at the rest of these American Bandstand cards. Those are kind of interesting to me. All right, get these out of the way, um, and we'll go quick here, or try to. So we've got Ray Stevens. Melissa Manchester, Otis Redding, Gloria Gaynor, Dick Clark, and then it just says 10th anniversary. All right, so that's everything that was jammed just in that side pocket there. Let's go to the actual pages here, which there was um, an un, um, uncut page here, um, which, like, I think this Elio Castroneves is a, a rookie card, technically. I don't think he had any cards before that. I'm not sure about the rest of these people here. I mean, obviously, I know, like, the the main, more mainstream sports here, these are not rookies. But, um, like, you have to figure this is a rookie of, of a college, uh, what is that, lacrosse player? Okay, so um, I'm figuring that there are, let's see, looks like there's a front... There's a card in the front and the back here. So I'm um, just going through here. I mean, good good names in here. McGrady, um, Shaq, Grant Hill. So even if those end up in like a dollar box, you know, it only takes 20 of those to make up for the the cost of this whole thing. Um, there's a Tim Duncan. That Jalen Rose has got a picture from the finals. That'll probably go in my PC. Um, we've got some WNBA players in here. Teresa Weatherspoon, Hall of Famer, Katie Smith. Uh, there's like a Ken Griffey Jr. So all of these so far looks like, for the most part, are Sports Illustrated for kids. But you got Jeter. Um, so there's some decent names in here. I won't name off every single one of them. Um, this looked like an upper deck card, but it's got... Sports Illustrated for Kids branding on it. I don't remember seeing that before. Uh, that does as well with tops and, and these. Okay, so these must have been uh, put in probably a 1999-ish issue of Sports Illustrated for Kids. Um, and these are some mainstream cards. Really no value with these, so I'm going to flip through those pretty quick. At least no value that I know of, I'll put it that way. Um... Looking at that Piazza sample there to see exactly what I've got. All right, here we've got some more Sports Illustrated for Kids cards and some soccer cards. Um, these, This is just a like an, a World Cup issue from 1994, I believe. Um, but then like this Mia Hamm, not a rookie, but um, still probably worth a couple bucks at least. Got some hockey in here, uh, Wayne Gretzky. I can't speak to much of the other stuff some track and field uh olympic type stuff 
There's a Lance Armstrong. Andre Agassi. I did see him play once in Indianapolis. We've got a Mickey Mantle, a Pele, Jackie Robinson, Wayne Gretzky, Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan. That's a pretty good page. Those were all from uh, the same type of insert set. I, th I actually think I remember getting that magazine back in the day. Here we've got uh, Dave Mira, Tiger Woods, Venus and Serena. Got a starting lineup card of Kerry Collins. And it looks like some more mainstream cards here. Uh, with a few Sports Illustrated mixed in. We got a Jerry Rice there. I guess I need to pay attention when I see this set. I believe that's, uh, obviously that's not the Brady, but that there is a Brady rookie in that set. I'm not counting on finding one of those in here, but uh, you never know. Some more mainstream stuff. Looks like a second year Peyton Manning. A Marino Star Quest. That Marvin Harrison there. <laughs> and then once again, some Sports Illustrated for Kids stuff mixed in. We got a Junior Seau Star Quest. There's a Kobe Bryant. Looks like it's a little dinged up, though. Kevin Garnett, Sports Illustrated for kids. <laughs> Shannon Sharp, Brett Favre. Looking at this card, I don't know if that is numbered or not. Looks like it's not. The other, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And then some Sports Illustrated for Kids stuff again. Bob Burnquist, Matt Hoffman. I remember them from the Tony Hawk and Dave Mira games. Played a lot of those when I was younger. We've got some mascots. Reggie Miller as a baseball player. Uh, and actually, I remember I've sold one of these Kobe Dracula cards before. That's probably like a, a 5 to $10 card. So um, overall, for 20 bucks, no huge takeaways from this, but uh, I'm very happy with it. Like I said, if I even move 20 of them at a dollar, then I, I break even, and then the rest of them I can do whatever I want with. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing stuff like that. I know people indicated they normally do. Remember, there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday. And as always, thanks for watching.